Hey Libra, welcome to your 2019 astrology. I'm doing this with the seascapes this time, but don't worry, I will be in vision for the horoscope and taroscopes for the weekly and monthly. Anyway, let's kick off this supremely important year. Now, Mars is going into your relationship zone on the 1st of January, really making you passionate about what you've got to say in your intimate relationships and all partnerships, actually. So if you're not happy in a partnership or relationship, you will be kicking off. You will not be frightened of saying what you think. You're like, right, this is it. I'm stepping into the new year with this attitude. If it's not working, bye. Although you'll be equally passionate about compromising. But if you feel the other person isn't compromising, you will be much more riled up than usual, uh, much more impatient than usual with a temptation to tell them to go and themselves. Anyway, um, it does give you the, the strength to persevere if you feel that a relationship is worth fighting for, though. Now, this year, uh, there is a lot going on for you. Two things in particular that are very, very profound. Um, Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is in your communication zone. So that is all about you expressing yourself, having conversations that you never thought you'd have, learning, you might like study, you might, you want to experience thoughts and communications that are new. In fact, one of your ideas may turn out to be one of the best ideas you've ever had in your life. Um, the other thing that's happening is Uranus shifting signs, but I'll get to that in a moment. January for you, there's lots of talking and you should get somewhere with your communication. You're also quite flirtatious in January with Venus, the planet of love, joining forces with Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good fortune, the luckiest planet of them all in your communication zone. So you're like, rah, these are my words. Experience them like the magic that they are. And other people are kind of loving what you've got to say, particularly if you're discussing um, some, a, a money-making venture as well. You're also thinking that you want to secure a loving and beautiful home for yourself, whatever that means to you right now, wherever you are. And you want to commit. You might want to commit to creating a family. You might want to commit to moving in with someone. You might want to commit to changing your environment so it reflects who you are. But if it's not, again, if it's not working out, um, you're going to make radical changes. In fact, to be honest with you, all of this year and indeed for the next seven years, you're going to make radical changes. I mean, it's a game changer. We've got Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, the surprise planet that just sort of brings things in when you're least expecting them, going into a very intense um, energy for you. In fact, Uranus hasn't been in that place. The last time that Uranus was there was between 1934 to 1942. So Uranus is going into your power house. It's all about you. Uranus is going to help you find yourself and be empowered. It's in your primal zone. It's about sex, death, life, rebirth, and overcoming your fears. Yes, it's likely that some of the things that you fear or you're, you're going to be approached by uh, and be in situations that normally you might have been cautious about, but Uranus is going to help you come into your maverick genius. And uh, there's great potential. I mean, it's a very potent place for you to find your power. But I'll admit it's going to be challenging you know, the more you embrace your power, the more you release your fears, the easier it will be and the greater the rewards will be. Now, on the 21st of March, there's a full super moon in your sign. And around that date, you're going to be feeling like there's a peak experience. Expect strange synchronicities, messages from the cosmos. Something profound and significant should happen around that time. If it's not an event, it's a, it's a mental or spiritual revelation coming your way. You're determined to sort things out and you want your relationships to be healthy. Um, now, I have to say, um, this full supermoon is very, very important because it kicks off a rare event. And there is, in fact, two full moons in your sign, one on the 21st of March and one on the 19th of April. So exactly as I'm saying, there's an important message, a revelation, something that you need to know, something that will rock your world, hopefully in a positive way. But either way, 
there is something deep and magnificent and profound happening this year and those two super moons in your sign are you know going to reveal what is going on and where you need to put your energy and who you are uh, and if you get the hint from the first one on the 21st of mars mars on 21st of march and then um you will be fully aware what you need to do by the time the second one comes around the 19th of april now just after that on the 20th of April, Venus enters your relationship zone. And again, you are ready to sort out your intimate partnerships. It's a priority for you this year. And there's some great good news and opportunity around the 9th of May when Venus is trying Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. Um, you're experiencing a deeper level of communication in your intimate relationships this year. And they could have to say, though, there may be temptation to have an affair or to change the way you view your sexuality. You're opening up uh, to maybe expressing yourself in a central new way. Uh, maybe you're dealing with some past wounds around your sexuality. Uh, maybe you're embracing more sensual freedom. But it's very, very intense and liberating. Uh, and it's coming from you. You are deciding to make these choices. You're deciding to... Uh, fully come into your power if you're celibate or not into sexual relationships you know it, equally you're going to be happy with that choice and you're putting your energy into un unearthing and, and, and loving yourself uh, in a way that empowers you now venus is opposing saturn you may find yourself in july pushed between your intimate relationships your family relationships your home and your career and there's things for you to do in july around your career important things uh, you're having a soul revelation about your career there may be a strange coincidence that leads you into the right job you might meet the right person at the right time but there are other things going on in your personal life which need your attention too i would say in july focus on your career do what you've got to do because um it's important it, it's your window of opportunity um, you're also maybe fantasizing or dreaming of moving and you're you're heading towards creating the right set of circumstances for you to move and move to a place. You might have decided to move to the country or to, to be near water or to move somewhere that, that gives your soul peace wherever that is. On the 3rd of September, there's some very intense energy. Uh, there's a grand trine and that sets off a T-square. So basically, it, with the grand trine, there's a stellium of the Sun, Mercury, Venus and Mars in your kind of spiritual but also illusion zone uh, the universe is saying to you it's time to be true to your soul it's try to be honest with yourself about your soul's journey there may be a massive secret revealed on that day but you you enlightenment is the key word uh, if you ignore it and you go out and get drunk or you do something you know escapist there will be a bit of a slap from the universe um, a bit of a kind of cold shower to wake you up to what you need to do yeah so follow your your gut and your instincts on that day try not to do anything uh, just to lose yourself because there's important information to have at the beginning of september um some of your dreams and may, it's a really actually it's a good idea if you want to move to do a cosmic order a bit of law of attraction create a, a, a you know a board of your dreams of your ideal home start to do a little bit of magic connecting to manifestation and manifesting your your dream home because the universe is listening to that you have a little bit of extra magical powers around that on the 14th of september around that time look it up mercury and venus enter your sign both of them so you are a love magnet and you are charm personified not just with relationships but generally people find you very endearing and very lovely on the 23rd of September, your battery is fully charged as the sun enters your sign. And then on the 28th, there is a new moon in your sign. New moons are very important. It's when you can get rid of the baggage, let go of the crap and just step into a brand new cycle. It's like your own mini new year. So make the most of that. Um, you are opening to feeling things and feeling more secure in yourself around the 8th of October. And it doesn't matter what shakes you, you feel secure in yourself. You, you, you got to that point where you know that there are profound changes happening, but it's almost like you make peace with it. You're like, right, bring it. I want to be empowered. I want to let go of my fears. I want to be truly who I am. And you're certainly by the end of the year, you're entering that space. 
24th of November, Venus is conjunct Jupiter. A very powerful day to do with relationships. A great opportunity coming to you around the 24th of November. Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, you're getting all kutchy and want to be kind of a homebody. And in fact, any magic you've put up around wanting to create a home could happen uh, towards the end of November, beginning of December. And Jupiter is shifting signs and going into your home and family zone, uh, bringing about a cycle of another of 12 months where the good fortune and the expansion comes through home and family. And as we end the year, a lot of your focus goes towards home and family and, and creating change in that area. I send you so much love. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.